has no escape, nor do we want it. We've come to thrive on it and each other. You can't get the adrenaline pumping without the terror, good people. Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Christian Hannah Hoare, and I'm very excited today to talk about the Dead Zone. Now, this is the new Scream Factory Blu-ray release of The Dead Zone for 2021, and I am thrilled to talk about this movie because, for me, not only is this a Stephen King classic, more importantly, it is a David Cronenberg classic, and I mean that with every bit of enthusiasm as possible because David Cronenberg is probably, or not probably, he is my second favorite director behind George Romero being number one. Dead, the Dead Zone is a Stephen, Stephen King movie that I wish was more popular because I think it really is legitimate top tier king this is just my opinion but you've got movies like pet cemetery that are bona fide fan favorites and they're great films but to me there's this level of king movies that are just undeniable misery stanley kubrick's the shining even though stephen king hates it and i think that the dead zone belongs in that category pet cemetery belongs in it too but it's more so a fan favorite than anything but The Dead Zone is a really interesting tale that deals with an element of something we may not think about because it's something we don't have. We don't have the ability to be psychic and see things that happen or are going to happen. We think about it in jest sometimes when we think, how cool would it be if you could know what's going to happen with this or that and you could do this? You know, like in Back to the Future, like the Sports Almanac thing. They, they go back in time and they figure out and they know who's doing this. But this is something that you see in your head. This is something that happens to you. So The Dead Zone stars Christopher Walken. And right off the bat, I know a lot of people that know Christopher Walken, like me, probably say to themselves, well, Christopher Walken's the funny guy. He's a Saturday Night Live more cowbell guy. He's he's the, I'll stab you in the face with a soldering guy. You do it again. From Joe Dirt, like, he is a comedy legend, right? Well, He's also a bona fide great actor, and nothing is more apparent than that when you watch The Dead Zone. So John is this guy who has everything figured out in life. He's a teacher. He is loving teaching his kids. He's got this beautiful woman. They're going to settle down, and tragedy strikes. He has a horrible accident. He is run over by an 18-wheeler. He goes into a coma for five years, and when he wakes up, he learns that he has the ability to be a psychic. He has visions. He th he sees things that have happened. He can go back and grab somebody's hand and say, oh my God, this happened. And it becomes a very big burden on him. And this is an element of this movie that I think is just brilliant that Stephen King decided to tap into because it's not a movie that I've seen have this element done before, quite frankly, especially not to this level in the dead zone. Um, this movie gets really crazy. It's not an anthology by any stretch. It is a legitimate movie. But what I love about The Dead Zone is our main character, Christopher Walken, goes through like almost little subplots throughout the movie. He starts out helping this friend. Then he starts out helping a cop. And this cop is like, dude, I need your help. We've got kids getting killed. i got to figure out what's going on. And it gets insane very quick. After that, he goes away. He wants to get away from this, but then he realizes people need help. He helps this young boy. And then this politician comes into the story, starring Martin Sheen, who, in my opinion, is the most well-performed Sheen ever. I love Sheen, then it's Emilio, then it's Charlie. Sorry, Charlie, I'm not a huge fan. I like Emilio better. But Charlie Sheen is amazing in this film. And by the time we get to the politician segment in this movie you have gone through so many ups and downs emotionally with the John our character and what he's been through this movie has these really cool intricate subplots that move from one segment basically to the next so it's a movie it's not an anthology but it almost plays out like one and I really love that about the dead zone because I am a big anthology fan. I like little subplots and you move on and you get the meat and potatoes of something. And that really kind of happens in the dead zone. So that was done masterfully in this movie. Um, David Cronenberg has this thing about music. And what I love about Cronenberg is during the 80s, you saw a lot of the synth stuff getting huge. Well, David Cronenberg has been a guy, and you look at other movies like The Fly, he gets the most 
emotionally driven orchestral style music for his movies and it works so well the music from the dead zone is a huge component in this film it gives it so much heart so much emotion so much push and pull that it elevates a film that's already elevated and this is a great film um, I, I'm a massive Dead Zone fan. I wish it were more popular. I'm really hoping that the Scream Factory release will get this into the hands of some virgin eyes and fans that have not seen it because it does seem like it's not forgotten by any stretch, but you don't think of the Dead Zone initially from the average person when you say Stephen King movies go. The Shining, Pet Cemetery, Children of the Corn even. But the Dead Zone... The Dead Zone is one of my all-time favorites. If I was going to do a top five Stephen King movies today, this is easily, easily top five. And the mixture of a Stephen King story and David Cronenberg, because this was the perfect movie for it, because David Cronenberg knows how to get every emotion out of a scene. What's so amazing about The Dead Zone, again, is I literally don't lose a fraction of an interest in this film from start to finish. Not even a fraction. And that's a hard thing when you think about it. How many times do we watch movies that have really great scenes and other stuff and you're like, all right, let's go, let's go. The Dead Zone doesn't do that at all. I am so enthralled in the story. I am so enthralled in what's happening and what's going to happen next that this is a classic to me. I love The Dead Zone. So... There we go. Uh, so in terms of this Blu-ray, so yeah, obviously I want you to see The Dead Zone if you haven't seen it. But in terms of this Blu-ray, uh, this is the Scream Factory release as we've stated. Um, of course, I put the original poster artwork on here. Um, it has a new 2020 scan from the original negative. The picture quality was probably as good as it possibly could ever be. The picture quality looked fantastic, just sparkling clear. With a little bit of that grain in some scenes, not much at all, but just a little bit. If you get close to the TV, you can see that beautiful grain. So this this release, they, Screen Factory got an amazing transfer. They did a great job on that. In terms of new features, you got a new interview with actress Brooke Adams, and she was very lovely in that. Audio commentary with the director of photography, Mark Irwin. And then old featurettes, we got Memories of the Dead Zone, The Look at the Dead Zone, Visions of the Dead Zone, The Politics of the Dead Zone, and Theatrical Trailer. Unfortunately, no Martin Sheen interview. I would have loved a new Martin Sheen interview, but we didn't get that. Or Christopher Walken, but these guys are huge. They, they, they're probably hard to get a hold of. They're always very busy. That's okay. I would have loved it. But the fact of the matter is, this movie deserved this kind of treatment because it is a bona fide classic to me. It's a great film, and I think it's top five king. So I really hope you guys will give this film a shot if you haven't seen it. Trust me, make this one movie you pick up this year, Stephen King's The Dead Zone, directed by the legend David Cronenberg, who I think is one of the greatest directors, period. Second favorite of mine. So please let me know what you guys ha think about The Dead Zone, if you've seen it. Uh, please sound off and let everybody else know, yeah, this film is great. you got to check it out. And if you haven't seen it, I, I really can't be any more sincere. You can hear the tone of my voice. I love this movie. I want you to see The Dead Zone. Do it for me. Pick up the Scream Factory Blu-ray. It is a great way to watch it. So this is this is my favorite release of the year. It was House of Wax. Now it has been trumped by The Dead Zone because... I, I literally got this thing in the mail, ripped the package open as I was walking back into the house and watched The Dead Zone, and I was like, man, I forget how amazing this film is. The twists and turns, the story is amazing. So let me stop. The Dead Zone, guys, amazing. So please give it a shot. Please check it out. This is Christian Hanna Horror. Can't wait to see what you guys have to say in the comments, and we'll see you next time.